Under GST law, GST officers can issue summons to any taxpayer requiring their attendance. Now, a summons refers to an order of the court or any administrative body of the government to any person to appear in the court or in the concerned office in person at a specified place and time for any investigation or inquiry on any matter. When summons is issued under GST, the one to whom such summons have been issued are duty bound to appear before the GST officers. There has been numerous cases wherein tax authorities issued summons to various companies, employees and key managerial persons and they had to appear before GST officers. However, taxpayers get intimidated on receiving summons as they are unaware of how to deal with such summons. In this video, we will learn what needs to be done when a summon under GST is issued and also discuss the rights and duties available with taxpayers. When a summon under GST is issued to you, find out whether summon has been issued by a proper officer under GST law or not. The officers of the audit wing cannot issue summons under GST. However, the DGGI has been bestowed with vast powers in all of India to exercise this power. DGGI refers to Directorate General of GST Intelligence. As a taxpayer, you should exercise due caution while dealing with the tax authorities and officials. In such proceedings, the officers of the tax authorities may ask for production of documents and also record statements of employees, directors or key managerial persons of a company. While making submissions before the GST officers, taxpayers should be aware about the ramifications of their submissions. Unlike in the case of submissions made before police officers, the statements made before GST officers can be admitted as evidence against the taxpayer. A taxpayer cannot say just anything to the GST officers. What they submit before the officials should be accurate and should not involve any false or misleading statements. There are certain rights that a taxpayer can exercise. This includes right of retraction, right to remain silent, and right to cross-examine. Let's discuss these rights one by one. Right of Retraction Sometimes officials put a lot of undue pressure on taxpayers causing them to be intimidated and cause them to submit inaccurately. In such cases, taxpayers can exercise the right to retract the statement made earlier which is incorrect and substitute it with a correct statement. This right safeguards taxpayers from action to be taken against them by tax authorities on such incorrect submissions. Next is the right to remain silent. There may be times when taxpayer is not 100% sure about a question raised. Hence, in such situation, the taxpayer can choose to remain silent. This right is a constitutional right given to a taxpayer. Remaining silent does not constitute an offense as said by the Supreme Court and the High Court. Next right is the right to cross-examine. GST officials may try to manipulate the person who has been summoned by giving reference to the adverse statements made by a third person who can be his colleague, vendor, dealers of the company, etc. In such cases, the taxpayer against whom such statement has been made can cross-examine the other person to verify such statements made by him. Moreover, while recording a statement, the taxpayer is allowed to refer books of accounts or other documents and then make a statement as he is not expected to remember everything. A taxpayer needs to be aware of his or her rights and duties in respect of summons under GST. It will prevent such taxpayer from falling into adverse situations or succumbing to pressure mounted by the authorities. I hope that this video was informative. Thank you so much for watching.